all of us try to squeeze in as much as possible in our in the time that we have when things go as per our plan then everything is okay when things don't go as per our plan that's when we begin to analyze what went wrong and how we can rectify it because productivity is an output of the work that you do there are several factors that are at play here such as your talent your motivation the work environment the bo- your boss and even how you manage your time this series is about managing your time effectively and today i want to talk to you about how you can boost your productivity so if this interests you keep watching if you're new here thank you for stopping by My name is Aparna. I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. So if this interests you, consider subscribing to my channel and while you're there, do not forget to press the bell icon so you're notified every Thursday when I post a new video. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the theme of managing your time effectively and the videos I posted on this so far. If you have any suggestions or feedback for my videos, do leave it in the comment section below. All right, I want to start today with this wonderful quote. It's from Paul Mayer and he said, "Productivity is never an accident. It is a result of commitment to excellence, intelligent planning, and focused effort. Today I want to talk to you about tips that can help you in this intelligent planning to boost your productivity. And the first tip I have for you is good night's rest. It is simple and clear. When your body is well rested, you are in a position to rock and roll the next day, which means getting all those important 6, 7, 8 hours of sleep every single night. There are several benefits as well, both physiological and psychological, and maybe I will talk about that in a separate video. Just know that in order for you to boost your productivity, you need to have a good night's rest. Tip number 2 is that you need to check your moods often. Do you know that our moods affect our performance? If you're feeling low or sad, expect that day will not be a productive one. This is unfortunate. We cannot separate our emotions from our physical action because we are not machines. A great way to control your mood swings is to do a deep breathing exercise. You can also club it with meditation. I've spoken extensively on both mood swings as well as deep breathing exercises so I'll not repeat it here. I will provide a link to that in the description below. You may also find one of them flashing on the screen right now. Tip number 3 is to calendar block your time. I've spoken about batching your activities in the time savers video. Taking a cue from there, you can batch your activities into your calendar and block chunks of time for that activity. For example, typically I batch my meetings in the mornings and when I have no meetings, then I either schedule calls or I schedule my shoots. It's 11 a.m. as I began shooting this video. and the second half is for admin related activities because post lunch i experience a little bit of slump in my time so i batch all my admin and documentation activities towards the second half post 4 i begin to peak my productive time once again and this is when i do most of my creative work such as writing a blog or creating content for my videos or even social media and even sometimes schedule meetings once the calendar is set then i use technology to monitor it so that i don't slip in between the cracks uh, which brings me to the next tip which is to use tech to your advantage an increase in technology doesn't necessarily mean an increase in productivity we all know that however smart people use tech to their advantage to increase their productivity rather than become slaves to it there are many apps in the market today that can help you with this i use google calendar in sync with ical to calendar block my time now google also syncs with calendly it's an app on my website which is used to schedule or book my time focus keeper is an app with timer that gives me short intervals to focus on my work it basically works on pomodoro technique and i've spoken about this previously calm is a meditation app that i use for my daily sessions 
Evernote is a note-taking app that helps me capture my thoughts, prioritize ideas, my projects, and my to-do list. Later and Postcron, these two apps are something that I use to schedule in my social media posts. Flipboard is a news consolidation app that is just one spot where I get all my news information, especially in the areas that I'm interested in, which is science and technology, behavioral learning, neuroscience, education. I just have to subscribe this in Flipboard and it gives me only the news that I want. So those are a couple of the apps I use and I'm sure you are already using some apps which hopefully are helping in your productivity and I hope you continue to use it because uh, technology is something that we cannot avoid so we might as well you know, use it to our advantage. Which brings me to the next tip which is to switch off notifications. As much as possible, switch off all notifications that can save you from distractions and not just social media. According to the recent study, notifications contribute to the fourth biggest workplace distractions after food, loo breaks and chit chatting with your colleagues. So put your phone on silent, exit that chatting app and close your inbox before starting anything important. All right. The final tip for today is to play that music. Listening to music at work can alter your mind. Seriously, it is proven to improve your mood, to stay focused and also make repetitive tasks easier. And hey, it can also boost your creativity. So put on your favorite music in the background and boost your productivity. All right, so I've shared with you six tips that you can use to boost your productivity. Let's quickly recap. Get a good night's rest. Check your moods periodically, calendar block and work in batches, use technology to your advantage, switch off notifications that can become your distractions and finally play your favorite music in the background to amp up your focus. Follow these six tips and it's a guarantee that you will be super productive. Also let me know what you think of them in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up Share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel, subscribe and also hit the bell button so you will never miss an update from me. Thank you so very much for watching, I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.